Hey everybody, hope you're all doing well. So besides Mother Nature taking a victory lap, I kind of wanted to show you something else that was really cool. And that's the Goldie Box 2 inch electric backpack dredge. We have the Goldie Box, we have a pump, we have a pressure nozzle, we have a suction hose, we have various crack nozzles, and we have an extension nozzle. So I'm going to show you how to set this up, and then we're going to run it and find some gold. So one of the most important things about setting up the Goldie Box is your hose routing. You want to keep your hoses at level or going as downhill as much as possible. Keep the rise to a minimum so you can maximize your head and your lift underwater. So one of the first things I like to do is get my nozzle and my hoses set up and place it in the area that I'm going to work. This way I know how much hose I can pay out and where I need to set up my box and to know if this is going to be a good place for this downhill run. And since I'm running my smaller pump today, it's really going to give that a bigger boost. And I'll talk about pumps and batteries in another video, but just know we always want to maximize our flow, and getting your hose to run downhill is the best way to do that. set up our hose and route it right down here. Goldie box will now be set up in line coming this way. So we're going to get some downhill flow and then I'm going to set the pump up a little bit upstream. So I have the Goldie box kind of in the area that I want and this looks pretty level to me. But uh, once I get the hose in I'll finalize that. And what this is right here is a set screw. So you're going to turn that knob counterclockwise, put the hose in, and that's going to lock the hose in place. And it, right now it's set up to run with underwater mode, and that's the lids on. So I'm going to take that off, but I need two hands. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the hose into this end and then tighten it down with the set screw, and that's going to keep me from pulling out the hose while it's running. And I'll brace the Goldie box on the sides with some rocks to keep it from moving side to side or keep me from being able to tug on it. But, uh, I'm going to have to put the camera down while I insert the hose into the back. You can see the opening there and then I'm going to tighten down the set screw and then I'm going to remove the lid. And the lid I might be able to show you because it's kind of easy. All I do is take two fingers and pull it and slide it off. The way I have it designed is it's just grooved and it's very strong, so you could pick up the whole holdy box with the lid, but uh, it's also designed to go on and off very easily. And what this allows you to do is either run it above the water or below the water. We have the Goldie box all set up in position. We can see that it's pretty level. It's got the slightest decline heading downstream. You don't want to have your Goldie box with the back end higher than the intake. I should say the discharge higher than the intake. You want this end to be a hair lower or the box level. And it's really dependent on how strong your flow is because the goal is to keep the fluid box exchanging, but we want to clear material off the back deck. So anyway, you can see I've got the box level and then I just have it braced on the side with heavy rocks. 
And then what I like to do is about a foot away from the box is I always secure the hose. It makes like a strain relief. So if I'm working or I move the hose in a wacky position, I don't accidentally torque the box and have it go sideways. Run the Goldie box with a pressure nozzle or just a straight suction nozzle. This setup here, I've got pressure coming into my nozzle via my pump, and that's really more for shallow, and I get really, really good flow. But when I want to go deeper, and I've dredged as far as six and a half feet uh, with the Goldie box on my 3,700 gallon per hour pump, but what I do is I use a jet log that I designed, and that takes a dual input. So I can stub two 3700s in here. I can stub two 2000s. This is another 2000 right here. And that's what I'm running today. So when I want to run deeper, I won't use this nozzle right here. What I'll end up doing is running this nozzle. And then the jet log sits up closer to the Goldie box and provides suction. I'm going to plug in the Goldie box. There's the nozzle going back to the pump. Here's my battery. And away we go. on bedrock and you can see the material down in the box in the trap it's got really good discharge and you can see that I've got my pump set up a little bit upstream it's not imperative that you do that that's just beneficial so you'll know when you have good discharge this is what you want it to look like so I've had some people ask me what the grizzly grate size is on the Goldie box this right here is slightly larger than half an inch. I also offer optional Grizzly Great designs that you can download for free from the website. So once you become a Goldie Box customer, you're also part of a community that's going to have available to them new adapters, new Grizzlies, as I design new things and release them for products you've already bought. If they're an accessory, you'll be able to download and print them for free if you have a 3D printer. Pretty cool.